So you want the ultimate dash build for your monk in season 27? I got you. Let's do this. This is the ultimate dash monk build for season 27 in Diablo 3. This is where you can dash nonstop around the map, which will help you hunt for those precious, precious rainbow goblins. Let's get straight into the gear. So everything that you're gonna need is an LOD type build, but we have two different set pieces that you're gonna do. Yes, I know the build looks a little wacky. Now I will have to note for this build before we get into the gear that it is not strong by any means. We are on normal and this build one shots things on normal, but it doesn't do the higher greater rifts. Even if you had all of these items ancient and augmented, the build still wouldn't deal enough damage to be crushing T16s. So if you wanna farm rainbow goblins, this is the build for you. So into the gear guys, you're gonna to wanna to have the raiment of a thousand storms set okay we got three pieces which is going to give us the four piece set along with the ring of royal grandeur now you're not worried about the two piece set you only want the four piece set okay dashing strike spends 75 spirit but refunds a charge when it does now this whole build is going to be about keeping our spirit at a maximum all the time so this 75 spirit hit doesn't do anything for us and it refunds a charge which allows us to dash non-stop so we got the three piece there next we got the captain crimson set which is going to help reduce the resource cost of our ability which we know dashing strike is going to cost a lot on top of the spending of 75 spirit which is which is crazy so we got the captain crimson set for that now let's get into the rest of the gear and kind of how the rest of the build works so we got cinder coat this is going to be a fire based build so this reduces the resource cost of our fire skills into our helmet, we got the Laws of Seth, which is using Blinding Flash, Flash, restores 150 spirit, which we have here. Next, we have our Warzian Chain Arm Guards for just more speed burst for whenever we hit stuff. So that way when we're not dashing, which is never, we'll be able to have a movement speed increase. Next, into our weapons, guys, we have the Crystal Fist, which is great. Dashing Strike reduces damage. Now, this is kind of, you can put whatever in here honestly but it does happen the, like the damage reduction is good but when you're playing on a low difficulty it isn't going to matter you're going to be one-shotting everything next is the flesh flesh rake dashing strike increases the damage up to 100 for a second stacking five times which is huge 500 damage increase on dashing strike crazy we're going to be one-shotting things all we want to do is get around the map and find goblins into our rings and amulets we have scorch necklace for more damage we have rachel's ring of larceny for uh just the movement speed, but really it's just there as a flex to fear things. Uh, next is City and Ring of the Zodiac to help keep our cooldowns on all of our sk skills up. Now the the legendary gems guys, kind of you can try to change these up because this is kind of like a lower build. Boon of the Hoarder for a speed increase is great. You have Gogok of Swiftness to help with cooldown, and then you have uh, Wreath of Lightning for just even more move speed. But if you wanted to, you could swap it for Bane of the Trap. Totally up to you. Into Arcanias Cube guys, we got Burst of Wrath. So when we kill things and destroy objects, we get 20% of our spirit back. Huge. Remember, we want to keep our spirit at full at all times. Pride's Fall, reduce the resource cost of uh, our stuff by 30% after not taking damage. In this build, you should never take damage. On lower difficulties, you should never take damage ever. So this should always be up. Next is, of course, Ring of Royal Grandeur to complement the two sets. Into our skills, we have Blinding Flash, Replenishing Light. Now, all of our skills are going to be based on restoring spirit, okay? Each enemy we blind restores 10 spirit. Now, that's nice, but it's really just to help proc our laws of Seth to get our 150 spirit back. Sweeping Wind, Inner Storm. As long as our Vortex is three or more, we gain eight spirit per second. This should always be up. Dashing Strike Radiance, of course. We get the increased attack speed and we dash nonstop. Uh, Mantra of Healing, cir uh, Circular Breathing. Mantra of Healing regenerates three spirit per second. The healing part, we don't necessarily need that. We just want the regeneration. Uh, Epiphany Insight. This helps keep our regeneration stacked to 45 per second, which is great. And if we really wanted to, this will help us just dash to enemies. Uh, Mystic Ally, Air Ally, which will give us even more spirit regeneration. And when you have it active, you get 100. Crucial. Passives. We have CZ Initiative just for a little bit more damage, which is great. Uh, beacon of uh, Yatar for all the cooldown reduction. Uh, Exalted Soul to increase our maximum spirit and regen. And then we have Chant of Resonance, which increases our, our spirit cost of mantra effects reduced by 50. And we gain even more spirit every second we have a mantra up. Huge. This should always be at full. You're only going to see small dips 
when you're casting your dashing strike, but otherwise this is gonna be basically full the entire time you're dashing around. So that's the build. What I'm gonna do real quick though, guys, is I'm gonna show you a quick little path that I do for the rainbow uh, hunting um, you know, routes that I take, which I'll pin above, guys. Make sure to check out that video if you want a full breakdown on how to farm rainbow goblins. So we're gonna go to Royal Crypts. I'm just gonna showcase how fast this is. Look at this. We have everything up. You just dash. They can't stop you. And you hunt for goblins. Look how fast that was. Let's go do another one. Southern Highlands. We're looking for the Moonville Cave. Cave of the Moon Clan. Right, you got everything up. Got spirit going, boom. You just dash around. The build is insanely fast. Now you do wanna make sure you're hitting stuff. You know, monsters, so that way you get your, your spirit back. But boom. And you just dash around. So if you're hunting rainbow goblins, do it on normal. If you are capable to do it on a higher difficulty, feel free. But you're gonna be looking for the moon clave. Moon clave, the moon clave. The Moonland, the Moonland Cave. We're gonna be looking for the moon, the cave of the Moon Clan, because that's how we rock, okay? When you're playing this build, all of your abilities should be nonstop. You should always be casting them as much as you can. There should be no reason why you're not. And boom, you just hunt around. It is the ultimate monk dash build in the game, especially for rainbow goblin farming. So if you are doing that, you're trying to get the galaxy wings, just do it. The build is absolutely amazing. Now, I will mention just one more thing. This is season 27. You notice we do not have a power on the build. That's because you don't need one. None of the powers for the monk will benefit this build in any way. But if you do want to have a power on there just so you have a perfect weapon or a perfect uh, gear piece, feel free. Slap it on anything that you want. That is perfectly fine. But that is it, guys. That is the ultimate dash monk build for season 27. Get out there. Hunt those rainbow uh, goblins and get those galaxy wings. I haven't got mine yet, but get out there and get them. As always, stay gaming, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.